this is, is a um, uh, thank you video um, to one of my subscribers um, and it shows how there's still wonderful people still in this world no matter what is happening um, <laughs> so crazy um, I think it's like two weeks ago I had basically a uh, um, an email from one of my subscribers who had really reached out and did something very beautiful for all the rest of the subscriber this is a Taurus person who had um, listened to one of my videos and listened to my advice and took the advice and um, something positive came out of that so I want to say thank you to all my subscribers thank you to new subscribers thank you to um, each and every person that came out to support me all these years um, thank you to all the wonderful people who have left message good message positive message not so positive message it's okay I guess it's your opinion and I still want to say thank you for leaving um, those messages okay <laughs> not having such a, a here there so um, okay um, so I like to share things with people as I do these readings and because um, the subscriber had um, really reached out to me and she um, sent a donation I have got you guys a three decks of cards okay I, I used um, one of these decks first I got you the um, also send the tarot card which I personally love so much I have um, I've always wanted to have it and the last couple of years all I asked for my birthday <laughs> um, or um, for my birthday is always um, card decks okay because it's nice when someone else gives you something so you can share with the whole world so this is what I do um, so I haven't been asking for anything personally for myself the last couple of years only for decks for um, my um, for my channel um, the Osho and uh, this is one of the most beautiful decks that I personal find I think the way it's designed is so powerful it's wonderful it has really 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 positive messages and this is good um, so I am going to use these and share because the gift was to get tarot cards so that I could continue the positive um, readings that I'm doing so thank you um, you know who you are it is a Taurus person thank you so much for your wonderful gift this is um, to say to you I'm so grateful for your help and support and also for the rest of the subscribers okay so for the monthly readings of May I'll be using this deck so this is going to be a very positive um, and um, the second deck is the one I used last week which I find so powerful I resonate with it the energies that came out in those reading last week was just so um, positive there was a lot of negative uh, um, reverse energies but this deck is as if it brings out exactly I like this deck for one reason because it has uh, the energies of the prince and the princess okay and this is good because a lot of people are always saying yeah but what happened to the people between the ages of 30 and 40 and that sort of a thing and now um, it's coming out but it is what I'm channeling because sometimes it don't affect younger kids and it sometimes it doesn't affect some people so it's just what I'm challenging uh, challenging at the time of the reading and it depends on which zodiac sign it is I love this deck I'm gonna go through this deck with you because um, the Osho um, the Osho Centaur deck is, is, is a much um, more um, it's, 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 it's really um, I love the packing the packing is good it has this little string which is very nice and the most powerful thing of this pack well it's my favorite it's the color orange orange is one of my favorite colors um, um, 
to wear clothes is blue white or pink but orange is just like one of my favorite color I love the packet because it's um, it also comes with a book which is good and um, I always read the book thoroughly um, because each decks bring out different messages okay and then um, this is the box and then it goes in like this and that's the back of it and then you can just automatically pulls it out like this and this is why I so really love this deck and I'm so happy that it was a, a huge box this is a normal size box I feel I find for a tarot card okay but this is the energy oh my gosh the light and is so bad okay let's do it this is the energy oh there we go you don't have to see my face this is the energy of the fool I love the energy of this fool because it's actually um, someone you know going on their own but there are obstacles but yet still they're not so um, huge obstacles um, but they are moving forward and that's good energy of the magician a wonderful wonderful really really wonderful um, energy and this is just so perfect this is just so good this is something that you all want to understand and all want to see I love the energy of the eye princess which is just so fantastic I love this sort of a weird form of things um, then we have the Empress which is so good so powerful and I like the different design of the Empress and the Emperor because it's just so on real but yet still still and this is good energy of the um, elephant is always that sort of a, um, a figure of an organization and you can see always people waiting for answers now the energy of the lovers is so fantastic because I love um, the Romanian times and the time of this sort of a dressing and this is just so wonderful I love this time I think I get stuck in that time um, the energy of the chariot is a beautiful beautiful wonderful energy which I personally think this is one of the, the best um, energies of the chariot then we have the energy of the strength and this is she hugging the lion and you know holding on and holding on to her strength and that sort of a thing the energy of the hermit is coming out and with the energy of the hermit this is just so powerful so positive it's in a new um, sort of a um, way that they design these cards and I'm loving it wheel of fortune so fantastic um, very different very unusual love it it's really a, a change of what we all are seeing now I love this justice because it's a, a woman who is sitting there and not a man and this is just so powerful because the energy of the femininity is coming back and whoever did this artistic work is just so good energy of the hangman a positive one look at all those colors so beautiful so powerful um, you feel so refreshed with this I like the energy of this because it's blue and purple which is always healing it is the transition of uh, something ending and something new is about to begin in I love this temperance because this temperance is the color of yellow and normally yellow is the color of friendship and this is just so powerful and so good now this is one of the energies that I think that they did it so good because normally there are two people who are standing being bonded but these two people are kneeling so it brings in a total other sort of um, um, energy that is coming in now the tower is just so flamboyant and so positive so this is a tower which is like this healing is coming but oh my god you're going to be receiving so many things after this healing which is just so positive energy of the star I love this because the energy of the dove is in it but um, the star brings the energy of hope and this is really a sort of hope that is coming in okay the energy of the moon love it love it love it there is um, the shadow of the moon but also the face of the moon and this is really an energy that is saying be aware 
um, you know you're spiritually protected but be aware of the things that are coming out the Sun is a wonderful energy because most of the Sun energies are always with two people so this can be your mighty I am present self but it can also um, be that you're healing yourself and the universal angels and guides are doing that love this energy of judgment this energy of judgment is one of the most fantastic um, energies um, which is so flamboy but in as very very um, a chic fashion um, very um, untoned but just so positive now end of the the world the ending coming in um, the energy of the ending of the world is just endings but you can see all these new beginning and um, they seems to work with a lot of yellow a lot of yellow color which is just so fantastic and this is a super because yellow is actually um, also a sort of a new um, sense of energy come comes in this is so weird I can't get the lightning okay so we are going to start with the energy of the swords okay and the energy of the swords I always like to do the people afterwards the king and queen I like to do the people afterwards there's a princess which I personally find that this was just so nicely done because of the energy of the princess and the prince because then it gives you um, more information about the energies of the princess on the prince which is just so um, profound wonderful if you ask if you ask I mean it's it's a deck that is just so powerful I love this deck it's as if I resonate with this deck we have the ace of swords which is just so fantastic here we have the more yellow and earth energies coming in um, which is just so strange because um, it's an air energy so I'd expect like blue or something like this but this is nicely done if you ask um, the two of swords this came in in just a wonderful beautiful way I do understand um, the um, the author the artists what they were thinking because it's very positive three of swords love this and if you realize most of the swords um, are actually under an arch it's in um, an arch figure um, the five of swords this is really conflicts you can see um, a sense of you know you're trying to protect yourself with all the swords coming at you now the four of the oh yeah that was the four of swords sorry of resting where all the swords are protecting around you okay five of swords you can see this set you know in the middle there sit one sword so you have to be very careful with whatever the conflict is that is going on six of swords I love this because four is tucked away and two is there one is by the door and one is above the door which is very very I like the way they thought of doing that seven of swords love this four swords in front of the door and another four on top saying that you know you're protected in whatever way um, you can see whatever is transpiring and whatever the deception there is you will um, see it I love this energy because they did the eight of swords in the infinity sign which is very very wonderful way of doing it if you ask me and if you look at um, the sort of energy that is around there is as if your spirit guides and it's bringing down this power is infinity the sign of the infinity but yet still is as if you're being protected and this is so good because it's as if it's this is the nine of swords which um, is as if this is the energy of being worried but yet still your spirit guides are you know um, behind you saying not to worry okay and the last the ten of swords is as if it can't go any worse than how it is and it's oh it's only a way of going up so that was um, the energy of the swords and then we have the prince the the princess of swords I love this because it has the people more people are being ex um, 
um, placed in these things because um, the Tarek is basically um, based on the the, the um, um, you know the time when we had kings and queen and that sort of a thing and the princesses but now there are more um, factual thing come in which is um, just so powerful this is he's not on his horse he's walking with his horse which is very good which is given another story now this queen of, of sword is very aggressive so um, this is what I was saying to a lot of people that um, the aggression the meaning of the stick is really coming out because this is how the aggression comes out and especially when um, given a reading with this deck there is just so many powerful things coming out then and last than least we have the king of swords and as you look at this you can see how he's coming up at um, everyone and how this is looking so basically it's um, I should say that it's um, basically a wonderful deck in the sense that there is so many things that is happening in this deck that can um, you know make um, you know bring positive energies but yet still not so positive energies and um, but it, it brings out basically the meaning of what is happening and that is basically what is trans uh, transpiring okay I love this because um, whenever there's conflicts and that sort of a thing you are seeing that it's going to be out now I'm doing the energy of the ones I love this ones energy because it's as if this is really a new beginning this is as if the universe is saying expect a new beginning this new beginning is coming in then we have the two of ones this is an offer that is coming in this is just so much of offering um, that is coming in the three of ones is as if okay I'm finished with this I'm looking forward for something but I'm taking some rest which is so positive four of ones love this because three of the ones are tied up and another is out and this is just so powerful and so wonderful um, the five of ones which is always conflicts you know conflicts and you know situations that but yet still the red it looks as if an off shape art that things are going to be good and the Sun comes up ab above it which is wonderful love this energy the six of ones one of the most beautiful card in the deck whenever this energy comes up upright means um, positive new arising positive new things are coming in and this is good seven of one as I've always said it's a protection card it's a is a card where you are um, standing back and protecting yourself from whatever is coming at you eight of ones there's a lot of stuff that is going to be coming these are going to be wonderful these are going to be powerful these are going to be nice stuff that is coming out for you guys so this is um, just so powerful nine of ones which is in another way which is a protection you can see as if the the red part they're like wings coming out but it's actually from in a garden and this is good because they have used a lot of energies of a garden with the Sun and the beautiful energies look at this ten of ones this is the most beautiful ten of ones you can ever expect in a card deck and this is so positive okay so we are moving on to the energies of the cups which I think is just oh sorry um, the princess look at her as so uh, it's just like the princess of the garden which is powerful and then we have the prince of ones he's on his horse and this is good because the, they are always on oh no sorry um, the ones sorry the prince he's beside his horse so you know the prince and the knights they're always on their horses but these in these decks they are beside the horses look at um, this positive energies with a unicorn I love a deck that um, um, uses a unicorn because unicorns are night and dimensional um, and they're good look at this king on his horse <gasps> and this this is how I, I I so admire this deck and I just so think that this is one of these decks that, that is going to be like one of the most positive decks that has ever been 
um, associated because they have so many um, like wonderful energies and the way it's all depicted it's in um, a very very positive way and that's what I look for when I'm looking for a deck it has to connect with me because if you realize I don't use like a lot of decks I use decks that really have positive intentions and how it connects now we're moving on to the cups and these are the most beautiful beautiful cups cards it's blue it's all about healing and normally you'd expect the energy of the cups it has yellow it has green it has all the colors um, emotional colors that will transpire and it has the white energies which is just so positive I like the two of cups because the two of cups is depicted with an horizon of a connection with two people and this can be um, business or because the energy of the house is um, behind it which is wonderful three of cups a wonderful energies I love this four of cups which is your ship is about to come in or you're you're expecting your ship to come in the five of cups is as if okay um, you know things has happened we're here and we're going to move forward which is, is so good I love the six of cups because the six of cups is, is so depicted where the energy of positivity is in the middle of these cups where whatever the emotions that is happening around it it is there now the seven of cups is always leaving something behind expecting something to to happen and this is good because there is your ship going out again for whatever reason five the eight of cups is um I'm about to leave something behind so I'm making preparation and I'm cleaning up everything and decide to move on the night of the nine of cups is a positive energy this mean your ship has come in with also um, different sort of energy and this is wonderful the last and least the ten of cups which is so positive this is the energy of um, just really 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 I'm trying to get this light um, you know really really positive energies which is as if the family has been healed so it's as if the universe is sending all these healing energies down and this is good the princess I love this she's on a dolphin which um, there's not a lot of cards but all these night dimensional being and now you're seeing that people are understanding and making changes to certain some of these energies which is just so positive here we have again <clears throat> the energy of the Prince of Cups and he is you know bringing his horse to water which is an emotional thing he's making sure that his horse um, have enough to move on and this is good you know this is not as if he's riding his horse and he's not now this is so positive because um, if you look at her dress it's like a shell um, it's, it's really really like a shell and uh, um, the king of wands and if you notice in this deck all the kings are on their horses all the kings are on their horses and if you look at this king he is ready and he's moving forward and he's bringing all these positive energies that are coming and it's not really death but it's like the energy of crowning so um, this is very positive we are now nearly at the last and we are at the energies of the Pentacles I love the energies of the Pentacles because the energies of the Pentacles bring actually very good positive energies um, in and I loved how they depict this energy um, of the Pentacles because it's basically in green which is one of the most positive thing for money um, a lot of people are not aware of this but green is depicted as your financial stability is always in the color of um, green I'm missing something uh, seven five six seven okay so and I basically really really appreciate the way 
they have done this deck I love the ace of Pentacles because if you look at this this is actually a really smart beginning that is about to happen and this is good this is healthy this is like all the things you were expecting is coming in the two of Pentacles is as if you need to you know work on something and something is going to basically happen for you in whatever way three of Pentacles isn't this wonderful yes it is it is um, just one of those positive energies the four of Pentacles it's a lot your financial stability the five of Pentacles look at the way they depict this and I love this because they're all gonna fall out and positive things are going to be coming in followed by the six of Pentacles which you see the energy and it looks like an heart in the middle that help is going to be coming in seven of Pentacles is that you have been plant your plant something and whatever that you have plants is about to come and it's about to grow the eight of Pentacles is that you're working there on something and this is going to be um, coming out very positive nine of Pentacles wonderful energies a wonderful wonderful energies the energy of the nine of Pentacles I like it because it's in a circle and that's a circle of trust <laughs> okay so we have the last one and it's the ten of Pentacles and this is good as we look at the um, the people with the energy of the Pentacles which is just so wonderful we have the princess and this is beautiful because I love the way they have depicted this energy I really 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 admire the way they have been depicted this energy with this princess of Pentacles is so wonderful Prince of Pentacles he's there and his horse is behind him and it's as if he is throwing up these Pentacles because of how he wants them to flow and last but least we have the energy of the Queen of Pentacles I love this energy so fantastic the green um, she's waving um, she's you know like weaving this money and letting things basically um, going to transpire and happen in her life and the last and least the king of Pentacles which you know the king of Pentacles is always a stable financial stable person which is good because most of the energies of the Pentacle people are always just so powerful okay this is the last deck um, okay my personal opinion about this deck I thought it would have come in a bigger box okay because the design when I saw it I thought it would have come on this um, a bigger box and it is the Tarak of the fountain okay the fountain Tarak and um, uh, I love the box I love the color I love all the different rainbow colors that are coming through but I was expecting like a bigger box like the wisdom card but not to worry um, I guess this is um, whoever di designed this box this is what they wanted to come out so here I am I saved this for last for you guys so you can see me on packing this um, and this this deck is new I think this deck has just can't um, come out this year it's very positive it's very chic I like the chicness of it uh, and I like the rainbow colors that is coming this is the back it's upside down this is the back so you know this is wonderful look at those colors and I like the way it depicts the light that is coming onto it which is just so wonderful I personally think that this is um, a nice deck okay it opens like that which is positive so we are going to look at it so that's how it is I love these new decks that are coming out because they have and the most important thing is the little flip of pulling up the stuff which is just so fantastic so good so here we are love it love it love it love the I, I basically likes the way things are being packed and here the fountain Tauric deck that's the book that comes with it that's a book that comes with it and this is the deck of cards okay so I think this is we're going to go through this one um, very easy because um, 
um, what is happening um, going through this deck is that we are going to be looking because I, I think I'm sure these came out this year because um, if I see um, a deck that is about to come out I always um, like um, put it on my birthday list of that sort of a thing okay it comes with this card and they always we hope the fountain Taurus um, bring you joy clarity and inspiration love and it's fun um, Joanna Sivok um, that's a creator Jason Hagler that's a writer um, and Detour that's a designer and Ross and you can follow them on Instagram which is good you can follow them on Instagram okay all right I am loving this and um, this is going to be wonderful the ace of wands look at this love this I'm loving the unusualness of um, these new cards that are basically coming out love the two of ones there's so many people who are being now just so creative so uh, um, in the time um, the three of ones this is beautiful the way it is depicted I saw it and I did and, and right away my spirit guides were yes you have to get that one the four of ones is it beautiful because it's depicted with people real people real life situations that are happening I love the artists I love the people who have worked on this deck because it is really a successful deck then we have the energies of um, the five of ones this is wonderful because the shadow of people that mean it's the ego of people that are working okay we have the six of one one of my favorite 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 so most favorite six of one look at that it's like a little heart like you're in the middle of a little heart and this is so powerful the seven of ones is as if you're skipping from places to places you're trying to keep people and situation all for few and this is just so powerful then we have the eight of ones which is a lot of messages that is coming from different um, um, you know dimensions that are coming in and I receive the feeling of dimensions um, this is the pyramid that is the pyramid and I've always told people to use the pyramid to protect yourself this ten of ones is one of the most beautiful um, energies look at this and I love the way the light picks depicts it because it's, it's, it's basically just so wonderful then we have the page of ones and the energy of the page of ones is just so fantastic it's this young child coming in and it's in the form of the now and this is good the knight of ones I would expect them to say the prince or the young man but it's the knight of ones I guess they're staying um, with the word in the queen of ones is basically just so the picked of really a fire sign person so wonderful so beautiful the halo over the head and then we come to the king of ones okay this is a beautiful unusual deck I love this deck so um, I'll be I'm gonna be using this deck a lot now we're moving on to the ace of swords love the swords energy on real positive but good two of swords I'm I'm loving this because she's looking up because she's trying to find clarity for a situation I love the artistic work it is a positive artistic work that's a sad and now the three of swords is always so damaging but this one is just absolutely um, wonderful because if I would get this in a reading I will think whatever I love this um, energy um, so the four of swords positive I love this is someone who is resting and trying to figure out the next step and there is a little bird that is there protecting him while he does that five of swords it's a wonderful wonderful energies and this is so positive because you can see um, it can be in a conflict but it could be conflicts with others and they you're standing actually above this conflicts 
the six of wands the six of swords a beautiful energy you're moving away from situations that no longer serve you which is just so positive and this is a good way of depicting it the seven of wands the seven of swords a seven of swords is always someone trying to get away with something but be careful because the swords are two edges so uh, you know you need to be careful what is happening eight of swords look at this energy isn't this beautiful this is wonderful because the eight of swords is always um, um conflicts and that sort of a thing not seeing a situation clearly and you're trying to look um in um to find out now the nine of sword isn't this beautiful this is just so weird but so good because this is exactly what you do when you are in worries ten of swords it is like an organ it's as if you're in um, the middle of an organ and, and, and the sound and the worries and being um, blasted with the voices that is coming out of the organ so um, that's like a, another um, sort of a positive energy now we have the page of swords this is good because this is a normal person and this is positive because this is what the new decks are coming out with like normal people who are just in this time which is a positive energy so then we have the knight of swords we have the energy of the knight of swords which is a normal person that it's as if he's running up and he's you know going after and going out at something then we have the queen of swords love the energy of this queen of swords it is not as so um, drastic as the other deck and then the king of swords which is someone who is needs to protect his own energy and his own voice and communication I'm loving this because it's a crystal it's a form of the crystal elin okay beautiful beautiful deck because we are going to now the ace the ace of cups okay isn't this wonderful this is the most beautiful beautiful um, thing and then we have the two of cups and the two of cups which I find to be uh, unusual but yet still the cups or you know it's a two of cups it's two people two minds that are basically um, coming together which is good the three of cups another wonderful scene that is depicted and trust me these cards are going to be um, sold and you know calling up on the universal angels whoever did this obviously they have got their information from um, the universal swords source as they um, connect with um, their spirit guides because their spirit guides have really changed the way the cards are coming out the five of cups love this way they did the five of cups a positive way two cups are still standing two are him um, three are empty love the way they did that the six of cups isn't this beautiful because this is um a cosmic energy this is cosmic family this is connecting with cosmic family soul family spirit families and this is so powerful the seven of cups is basically wonderful it's as if she's there thinking oh there's so much um, what should I take and they're different uh, sort of cups and I love this because they're not the cups of different different sort of a uh, things that is coming out which is good eight of cups is a wonderful energies which mean um, you're turning your back on something and moving forward which is ex extremely extremely um, positive okay um, the nine of cups isn't this beautiful he is actually laughing this is someone who's actually enjoying something laughing at something because it's positive now we're going to the ten of cups isn't this wonderful yes it's in family it's a elin it's a source energy it's a Christ light so you you know it's calling up on the universal energy and the Christ light to come in and um, protect you the page of cups I'm loving this because it is someone who is they're trying to connect and put in the love in a box so that he could deliver it. the nine of cups I love this this is going to be really one of the most sell decks in 2018 because it's a positive deck 
Queen of Cups is wonderful it's all about emotion it's water and as some readers will say yes um, it's all about water water is cleansing but water is also healing water is emotion love the energy of this King of Cups because he's being protected but the storm and everything that is happening behind him he's really protected now we move on and I'm hoping so I think I'm gonna stop and then come right back with the, the pen so I like to check when I'm doing now we're going to the Pentacles love 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 if you realize um, most of the new artists they're depicting the energy of Pentacles in green because green is always your materialistic um, um, aspect of yourself managing and this is I'm always saying you're balancing out your financial but also your emotional and you can see the energy of the water coming in so maybe this person listen to what I'm saying because basically this is just so fantastic then we're coming up to the three of Pentacles and the depiction is so be very beautiful because it's as if you're connecting with the other universal energies to work together to bring forth something that is positive which is um, um, very very good then we have the four of Pentacles there you're building a strong foundation in the middle of a snowstorm and for the people who doesn't have so storm it's as if you're holding on to what you have and protecting what you have with all of what is going on around you then you have the energy of the five of cups five of Pentacles I love this energy looked at the way it's depicted is in a modern day that someone is seeking refuge in a, a church or one of those um, places or organization and you're seeing the energies coming out now the six of Pentacles love this energy I love this energy because this energy is the energy of help and it's depicted as of their eggs but they're in, in the with the infinity sign because I can see like three or four different infinity sign there is one at the beginning here and then there is a lot of infinity signs so nicely done I should say um, very 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 good um, so we have the seven of Pentacles which you're planting you're working on something and you're thinking how to begin something and how to plant something and make something happen for yourself the eight of Pentacles the eight of coins the energy of the eight of coins look at all of that it's as if he's hard on at work thinking doing working with his hands and this is such a positive positive energy now we reach the nine of Pentacles which is so beautiful oh my god this is absolutely beautiful this is something you have to be a very very good artist to um, you know really recognize and this is obviously that someone is really connect with the unseen world and the spiritual and the dimensional world because this basically is um, who how the dimensions of the hurt is placed alongside each other so that is really this deck is really someone at really connect with their spirit guides Ten of Pentacles, another wonderful, wonderful positive deck. Just look at this. It's as if they're saying the Ten of Pentacles, money is there, but yet still your family. Um, it has to do with something with family house. It's as if this is going to be coming in and in a positive way. Page of Pentacles, a very wonderful thing in the fields, which you're how they're throwing out and asking to manifest more of this one gold coin that he has and isn't this beautiful love the colors love the colors 
very very wonderful look at the back of the deck but I'm gonna go through that as I'm through the Knight of Pentacles I'm loving this depicting this this is so fabulous so positive it's coming up in a good positive way and this is absolutely positive okay this I have not seen in all the decks they have used a colored person and this is fabulous because it's always a prominent they have used a colored person the Queen of Pentacles which this is good I don't know someone must have been listening to my energy vibration reading because I've been calling out for decks like these to be um, be um, done and really I'm happy because um, it's the first deck that has a white and a black person in the energies of the Pentacles isn't this fabulous I'm loving this I wish if we all on this planet could just accept the colors that we are this is beautiful I am asking the universal angels to make sure that this deck really 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 um, be um, one of the best sellers this year because it's fabulous now we're going to the major arcana love the energy of this fool and this is so powerful um, if people understand what this card is saying and depicting and because I'm um, you know multi-dimension beams this is saying so many things at once and this is extremely positive love the energy of the magician unbelievable I love this this is powerful this is good this is a positive way of coming to the normal um, world the eye princess with the energy of the scroll sitting on the half moon isn't this wonderful the shadows which mean in your spirit guides which is just so powerful now okay I have just like only one thing that I feel about this card because if you look this is the Empress but around her she's standing in mucky water now having that you know you're standing in mucky water or mucky water is around you it's not really a positive energy but yet still um, they place the Empress so the greenery which I can understand because she's like the mother hurt and this is good now the Emperor I have no idea because this looks like a monkey I don't know um, th that is why because it's this deck is like um, the own conventional deck and I'm loving it because it's actually a baited man which put puts up the sand and said you know yeah I've, I've 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 you know come over this I've really come through this then we have um, the hair event isn't this wonderful and what I love about this there is no one else except this person and this is just so wonderful and this person is like opening up a box to look for the right answers and to fit the puzzles together which is so good okay brilliant brilliant I am so loving this deck right now this is going to be a deck that is going to be if people understand this deck it is so multi-dimension it is saying so many things look at the energy of the lovers this is a connection of universal spirits and mind coming together and this is what you would call the the twin flame card this is really two people connecting on a high spiritual level and this is good oh I love the chariots I love the chariots they look like a donkey not a horse very unconventional but very very wonderfully done I am so loving this deck right now it is just so um, powerful so wonderful justice another energy of a lady coming up and this is good because the feminine energies are really coming in whatever the situation is the feminine energies are coming in and and this is second deck with justice the lady is at the energy of justice which is just so powerful 
then we're moving on to the energy of the hermit wonderful energy looking seeking within the wisdom in um, in the fog and everything um, you are trying to shine light on situations around you which is just so extremely positive okay I'm in love I am in love with this deck it is powerful it is good the colors are good the numbers are even in colors which is just so fabulous fantastic I am loving this deck and I'm asking the universal angels to help this deck to really sell okay this is really someone who is multi-dimensional whoever this um, which um, this is um, the designer is Andy Todora um, Todora and this is positive isn't this wonderful this is really someone who is connect with the multi dimensions okay to bring out this energy okay I have the hangman this okay it is beautiful okay people I can't say anything else it says exactly and it's blue isn't this positive okay now a multi-dimensional person did this this is so wonderful this is unbelievable okay and I did this with you guys I haven't seen them I think I like see copy of them look at this temperance holding on in the middle of everything but yet still old and all wishing and open and this is good oh 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 and this is powerful this is this is so deep this is deep this is really really deep in a positive way and then we have the tower this okay people um, and I'm sure the people who are multi-dimensional beings the people in the fourth and fifth dimension you will more connect with these cards because the energy of the pyramid and upside it down and you know the blast a pyramid just think of a pyramid being upside down this is just so fantastic I'm loving this deck the energy of the star wonderful it is the sense of you are hoping and dreaming and you are closing your eyes swinging around acts in the universe this is one of the best decks ever love the energy of the moon this is as if you are in a totally dimension um, and seeing the moon um, but yet still you can't touch it but yet still you are so um, aware of how powerful the moon energy is coming in which is good love the energy of the Sun unconventional very positive this is someone who is um, working from out a multi-dimensional around okay because this is just something that we see that you guys can't see and they saw it and bring it out in the cards positive deck extremely positive deck the energy of judgment so fabulous so fantastic this is good wonderful 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 and then we have the energy of the world this is the most fantastic um, a deck I've ever seen um, this is powerful I am really really letting you guys know that um, this and then they have this last card it says the fountain and the infinity okay for the people who are in the fourth and fifth dimensions and six I'm not sure if anyone has reached the six yet this is what you are about to wake up to and um, I think a lot of people are going to be waking up with the energies of this card these cards because these are multi-dimensional card and um, uh, as I'm looking at them I'm realizing that this this is um, affecting your consciousness in a deep form thank you thank you thank you to the um, the creator the writer the designer and the publisher thank you um, this is well done perfect there could be nothing else uh, be done now 
this is something I want a lot of people to look at um, when I speak about um, multi-dimensional this is like something that is very um, multi-dimensional um, because there is so many dimensional um, sec um, things that is going on and these are actually if you look at it because I'm seeing through it um, there are faces there there's one faces another faces and eyes and it's it's so powerful it's as if you're in a diamond because this is basically the shape of a diamond or the face of a diamond and it's as if and when we speak about the diamond right because this person could be not even aware of it that they are um, the diamond ray they're working with Archangel Metatron these are codes and symbol coming out which a lot of people so it's a fantastic deck I want to thank the makers as they say you are the voice and the breath of the universe isn't this beautiful so I this is the back and this is the message inside it says you are the voice and the breath of the universe I am profoundly blown away from the this deck I so love this deck this is a powerful powerful deck um, I want to say to each and every person out there um, I'll be working uh, with you with this deck which I think that is one of the most beautiful things and this is what is happening the last time a lot of changes are coming in on our planets these are the changes that are coming in um, these you can see that this deck was designed by four people who really have an understanding of uh, the universal angel and the un the multi-dimensional level of um, understanding I am really 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 so positive of these three decks and um, I would like people um, to connect um, see what decks because a lot of people are always um, asking me what decks are you using because I use really unconventional decks I like to connect with things um, even in my life I do connect with things I have to I, I, I have weird way of, of finding things and, and connecting with the right things and this is one of those unusual things that I really 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 um, find that is so positive ladies and gentlemen I love the um, the fountain of the deck I want to say thank you so 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 much to that subscriber who have um, um, who have donated and asked me to keep the readings going by donating so that I could have extra decks to do your readings you know my heart because um, I can remember I was really going through and sort of an emotional thing that day and I saw that mail and I was like oh my god so I mailed the person back and I decided um, I think I was before I went to bed I decided I'm and there's three decks that are the most beautiful decks that anyone could have and these were the three decks and I got it for all or all um, the subscribers and all the viewers so um, I want to say thank you thank you thank you so much um, to um, that person who have donated um, because um, she would like to me to keep um, these positive energies and these positive readings thank you so so much I'm wishing you all the luck and success and I'm wishing you all the wonderful um, blessings um, I'm wishing you um, a success with your business um, and uh, um, success in your life for you know your kids um, the people who are close to you um, thank you because what you have done is that you are going to be touching the heart of many and millions of other people um, because 
uh, of this deck but the rest of the decks but this is a powerful deck because I wasn't aware how so dimension it is and um, a lot of people aren't going to be happy with this so again I want to express my gratitude um, to each and every person that connects with me um, this week hasn't been please um, support these people with these card decks as I have done because I am using it to um, bring forth positive energies um, thank you so so much for the wonderful um, support um, thank you for helping my channel to grow um, please try and read the book because I think at this time um, the book remove the veil of illusions can help a lot of people to understand what you're going through at this time and this is a time that we need um, to really understand what is the journey that we're here for and um, this was just a hobby that has become such a phenomenon and I want to share and say thanks to each and every person if this is the first time you've been to my channel or you have come back if even you haven't subscribed um, please know that whatever you're going through at this time in your life um, you need to go through this and um, it will make you only stronger okay namaste until next time